Assalamu alaikum. My name is Agata He and you are watching the next episode of Discover Ramadan with Agata. Today we are in this beautiful, beautiful house outside of Lahore and we are going to see how Iftar and Ramadan is celebrated by the very unique couple. His name is Hassan Kazali, her name is Lorna. She is from Scotland and he is from Pakistan. He is a lawyer and she is a fitness expert. They live here, they have a beautiful young daughter. And let's go and let's see what are they going to prepare for this Scottish Pakistani iftar. I can't wait to see this and I'm pretty sure that you want to see that as well. Chal, chal teche, let's go. Assalamu alaikum Agata. Well, How are you? Well. Welcome to our house. Thank you so much. I'm good. How are you? All good. Alhamdulillah. It is a blessed month and it's lovely to have you here. Thank you so Welcome. much. How is the Ramadan for you? Alhamdulillah. It's being very kind so far. I love the house. I love the space. Thank you so and much. Again, again, thank you for having me here. It's good to be in some space which is a bit different. Oh, so. you're very, very welcome. Please come. <laughs> Shall so we much. sit? Yes, thank come you. On. We also have uh, Hassan's wife, Lorna, nice welcome. to meet you. Uh, she's from Scotland, uh, as I said before, and uh, you are an unusual couple, right? And uh, that's why the question is about Ramadan. Uh, how uh, is it uh, different for you before uh, you got married? And how is it for you here in uh, Pakistan? Do you want to answer first? Ladies first. <laughs> Um, nice. For me, Ramadan, I've found quite good. I've been enjoying it. I find that it brings our family together. We have yes. meal times together. Um, so Ramadan, I've gone through a few years now, and all right, which which Ramadan is this for you? Which this one? will be my fourth Ramadan. I did one in Abu Dhabi in for sure three years. So all right. I've done a few Ramadans now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I find it, it just brings everybody together. You appreciate what you have, you appreciate your food, exactly. the gifts that are given to us, nature, everything like that. So I enjoy the Ramadan season. It's, it's always good to count our blessings and be grateful for exactly. what we have. I think, I think that's important that, that you say that, that blessings are important because I think why, how I see Ramzan is it's a time to mm. care for others. It's less about the self. So I think there's a very significant verse in the Quran which I should tell Let's you about. Listen. And what that says is, O oh, you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may learn restraint. Right. Uh, I think two important elements to that. First is, we aren't the only ones fasting. You think about the Christians fast, the Buddhists Obviously. fast, mm. the Jews fast. Yes. So every religion has an element of taking something away from yourself. That restraint yes. is what's important. So the Quran comes straight to the point and says you have to learn restraint. It's not about food. Obviously. So, so I think it's more about the self. Eliminating mm. the self, what you mm. might need. I think mm. that's essential mm -hmm. in Ramzan and that's what we try to achieve over here. And I think what really brings everything together, it's families there. Some people don't have the blessings of family. Some that's people, are own, especially yeah. after COVID, I think it's more about how we can care for others. So mm. that's what we try and achieve I over here. We try and take care of all the people who work with us and also people around us, our neighbors. I think it's a great time to send over things for them to eat and, and enjoy. And you do that. Absolutely. Huh. You do mm -hmm. that and they also send it to you. For sure. Yes. Yes. And we obviously, everyone does it. We see it in the street, people distributing mm -hmm. uh, boxes with food and uh, dates and other stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if anything needs to be removed, it's maybe things like our road rage, our anger uh -huh. and the things yeah. we bring and out. And people during... sometimes uh, even forget about it and they are more angry Precisely. because they don't eat, they don't yes. drink and then getting more angry Squarely, it that. is not about food, it's about mm. the restraint of the self. That's what yeah. we believe and we, and we live those values. <laughs> but it is hard sometimes. For sure, for sure. Yes. But again, you have, to, you have to manage it. It's the amount of food you take and how you actually paste your entire day. Now these days, it's very warm outside, right? Yeah, so, definitely. So you want to make sure you want to eat those kinds of foods. Which it makes are, you hot. Yeah, or pulls ah, you down actually, you right? Down. So what you're looking for is like red foods that reduce your blood pressure. So we try and bring yeah. those in, like tomatoes will cool you right oh, down. Yeah. So if anyone people have their sahur, uh, if they if they were to eat some red foods, you would find that they actually have a bodily cooling. 
um, because you know throughout the day you can't drink water, you mm. can't touch anything. So yeah. you really need to put the right things in you. Yeah, that is a, that a keep you going for the rest of the as day. Well. Proper yes. planning, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so with yeah. sleep, with everything, with rest. Uh, obviously, we know that there is seri, there is iftar, timing, sure. and everything. Mm -hmm. So for we sure. have to plan uh, accordingly. Of course, right? food planning, logistics, like the yeah. traffic ah, on the roads, ah. where uh, at iftar time is quite oh, maddening. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and that's the time I make sure that if I'm driving. Just take it easy, don't because Slow down. everyone's sort of angry yeah. and agitated. And very, so, very hungry after fasting all day. Exactly, yeah. and that road rage comes out and we see it. So it's these sorts of things that people need to be thinking mm. about of elimination of the self and mm. caring for others. That's what Ramzan is. Mm -hmm. All right, is the routine for you different during Ramadan than usual, uh, 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 except for obviously iftar and seri? So, uh, do you do your usual things plus this, or you just relax all day and you know wait for uh, iftar to come? <laughs> no, actually, we we love activity. Yeah, uh, all right. We we, we live me. we live in what is almost a park. So our day starts yeah, very we spend early. All day, sorry. At at dawn, we yeah. are out. Sometimes even before dawn, because our son, a six month old son, will wake up. So then we have to. <laughs> so if he's up, then we actually go out walking around all our gardening. All yeah. our, and we'll, we'll take you and show you planting. our horticulture. Everything that we do, we do it early morning so that uh, when the heat of the sun beyond the Again, day, nine or ten, uh, around nine or ten, we are actually in. And then the hot hours till about three, three thirty. We stay yeah, in. Indoors. We do our work. Uh, you know, a lot of people are working remotely these days. She yeah. gives her uh, classes ha, ha, online ha. as well. So we manage yeah. to do them all from home base. If I need to go out, fine. We go out. We have our meetings and all that. Mm -hmm. But essentially, we operate out of here. All right. So now the uh, very important question here: Who cooks the food? Ha, in this country. Ah, bole. Ha, Hassan, you you cook the food, don't you? You're the best cook. He's a he's a chef out of the two of us. I'm the one that'll clean up after us, everything like that. He's the cook. And so you are the one uh, who, who cleans, and he's the one who. No, cooks. I clean too. We both It's a joint right. effort. Yeah. But but I do enjoy cooking. I find it to be very therapeutic, very including things like chopping vegetables, which people yeah. would find very boring and basic. I love doing that, and I'm quite good at it. Yeah. And and and, and she loves eating the food, and she's quite that good helps. at that too. <laughs> she's so, good at eating. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm good yeah. at eating so as well. <laughs> it puts a smile on her face. It puts a smile on my face. That's Alhamdulillah. It. Obviously, you Absolutely. you mentioned that you prepared this uh, traditional Scottish food. Absolutely. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about this. From scratch. We want to listen. Well. She was, uh, for a long time, she was missing her traditional Scottish haggis. Uh, and I have never made it in my life. So, um, to be fair, neither have I. I usually just buy it and get it cooked. So, I said, <laughs> so exactly. So I said, well, let's try it. So I went and got, it's got all these trimmings and cuts oh, of meat lovely. that you wouldn't normally see. I always say, you should never see certain things being made. Laws, sausages and haggis. Because if you see them, you might not <laughs> like true, them. That's uh, true, that's true. Being a lawyer, knowing what the legal <laughs> process is like. Um, but I went through it. I started from scratch, chopped up everything, mm -hmm. cooked it up. And incidentally, this is day one of my second dose of COVID. So I was actually down. Yeah, I was very really tired, but still, We know how it is after vaccination. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was feeling it, but such was the love for my wife. I said, no, one uh, must get into the kitchen, ishk, prepare something ishk. and, and impress her a bit. One still tries to impress her. Uh, that's good, but, that's good. But alhamdulillah, it worked. And I guess she was happy. Yes. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure she was, and she's still. <laughs> yeah, still here, <laughs> still eating all your food. Oh yes, oh yes, for sure. I wanted to ask you about something mm -hmm. uh, about your Urdu. Apka Urdu, Apka Urdu, Borti hai? Ati hai? <laughs> Hi, Sorry, my Urdu is obviously not good. <laughs> Hi, G. Uh, although at the moment my Urdu learning has been slow, I am um, due to my pregnancy, the baby, but lekin um, mera ustad hai. Mary is a band head, Kalashnikov, Nishana, Dov, Dov, Vajita. Wow, <laughs> Very nice. I do have more words than that, but yeah, um, it's a slow process. I'm learning, but I'll keep trying. Okay, keep so pushing. I think we, we are going through the same uh, <laughs> obstacles. <laughs> but other than that, you understand, right? G. All right, uh, you mentioned, uh, you both mentioned the uh, garden and I can see, obviously I cannot stop uh, myself watching outside. <laughs> uh, so can we go and have a walk? Absolutely, we yes. are both yes. very ah, excited ah. to show you. Chale, chale. chale. Aye, bismillah.
obviously we, we can see that there is a lot of greenery and uh, it looks a bit like Poland and I, it makes me miss my house and my mm. home. That's and fine. I want to ask, do you grow your own vegetables? Maybe, by chance? Absolutely, no absolutely we do. This house prides itself on the fact that we truly try to live to the ideal that you are what you eat. Gee, that's our, true. our milk, mm -hmm. our wheat, our bread, so our vegetables organic. are all grown on site. They're organic. Mm -hmm. We love the fact that when our friends come here, we actually give them pure <laughs> fresh fruit and veg from here. Yeah. Say, guys, take it along. They cook really? with it because mm -hmm. we're trying to encourage people to do something. That should be done. Grow that your be done. own. Yes. Because mm -hmm. in this day of food inflation and costs going up, yes. if you true. aren't doing it, you're we missing out be. on something. These uh -huh. are these are one of the bounties of the earth. Mm. These are sort of the blessings of Allah. That's yeah. true. That's so, true. So if you don't do it, then that's wrong. So just to tell you, we so we what grow. So do you have? Yeah, we grow eggplant, tomato. Uh -huh. We have our own house cows and buffaloes. So Very we get nice. house oh, milk. Wow. We have house goat. You're going to uh -huh. get a leg of lamb oh. today. Uh, oh. which, which is, is which it bad? <laughs> it's actually quite beautiful. Um, and, and so there's tomato, green chili. We have onions growing here. We have potato growing. We have carrot growing in season. You say that because uh, we quite get the opposite views yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah. And especially in this country where we like our food. Oh, and we yes. like our rich foods. You're sitting in Lahore, wow. right? This is like ground Obviously, zero yeah, for the, the richest food. The heart of the food. Yeah. Exactly. So then you've got to temper that with a bit of restraint. Yeah, <laughs> yes, obviously. And a lot of water. Yes. I a lot of pani. Absolutely. That's a message for everyone. Drink a lot of water. Clean one. Leji, if sari ka time kareeb aaya ja raha हाँ जी आज आपके लिए हमने बहुत एहतमाम किया है आए अंदर चलते हैं लेट्स गेट थिंग्स रेडी लेट्स गेट थिंग्स ऑन द टेबल एंड एंजॉय इफ्तार आइए बिस्मिल्लाह सो दैट्स ऑलमोस्ट इफ्तारी टाइम एंड वी आर बैक इन द किचन एंड वी हैव बेबी um who is going to help us as well <laughs> looking at what we are preparing and the cook is here hasan please uh, tell us what are we going to prepare and uh, are these from your garden okay so what we're doing today for you is the traditional pakora all right, right? pakora so everybody loves eating them uh, yeah. during the ramzan to break the fast they're Obviously. quite rich they're deep fried so we grow these eggplant outside you just saw them and i'm just going to chop these up So we're going to batter these up, we're going to chunk these up, batter these up and deep fry them and you're going to love them. Mm, oh yes, yum yum. Yum yum yum. Is it going to be spicy? Do you Not use a lot of spices? Of course. How do you? Of course. This is Pakistan. This is Pakistan. <laughs> we practically invented spice and unfortunately she loves it too. Oh, so yeah, oh. it will be mildly spicy. Spice. Uh but if you have a problem you can No, 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 no. Right I now. love spice. Excellent. Oh, oh we in business then. My stomach then. belongs to Pakistan. Oh, we are so <laughs> <business. That's> fantastic. <laughs> Now we are in the kitchen and uh, we are in full action. Absolutely. You have to be fast because it's getting hot and it's getting close to iftar, and obviously everything is burning. The timing is like it's not burning, obviously, but it can burn. Right? Absolutely, and you have to monitor temperature. Everything it has to be cooked to perfection. Yes. Otherwise, you don't send it out. That's the I know that here. you are a person who likes uh, everything to be perfect. I already noticed this, and these are these. Um, these are the eggplant pakoras. Eggplant Absolutely, pakoras. we've got some onion. a uh, pakora there too this is all from our house so we just uh, cut I them can't up. wait very good let me just and get I this and i can see aside. something which is really uh, uh absolutely a so this is tree for me house cherry tomato with a little yes. bit of herb and we just keep it ready I, it's just cooked down I, gently I, I, I you will love to, this i cannot wait to taste it absolutely no we it's been an honor and a pleasure to actually prepare all these things for you and i cannot wait for you to taste them all right let's get this stuff to the table all right chala Table, and uh, we have uh, the mother of Hassan. 
Miss, thank you for having us. Most welcome. And thank you for being with us. And uh, I think uh, that's uh, now Azanori. We should uh, start Welcome. with Dua, please. Welcome. Welcome. She's actually also feeding baby Isa. So, so then, uh, double hunger. I'll relieve you in a second. Re relieve me. I think the worst head. thing about Ramzan mm. for me is the fact that I cannot fast through the day, last through the day unless I've had a paratha in the morning. Ah, <laughs> so you are. I would normally avoid paratha, paratha but um, huh. with uh, Rosa, I can't. I yeah. Have mm. to yeah, paratha is a, a good thing to. And do you like parathas? <laughs> Oji. <laughs> I do indeed. I do indeed. I don't. There's not much I've found I don't like. Uh, you'll find this quite funny. When my mother travels, my brothers are all abroad, right? So when she oh, travels, right. she goes to Dubai or other places. Believe it or not, her suitcases mostly have parathas from <laughs> home. How sweet! Made in the house, and she takes them with her, and they're kept there frozen. So people actually live off those parathas in Until many, many visit. countries. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> for a long time. So you, time. you are. You, you, you are. are there's no time. ban on carrying uh, flour and, <laughs> and parathas. Okay, I must carve this. Please. This mutton now. So please, just... please, please have a look at it. I'm pretty sure that this is an art. It's not that easy. No, you with, have the, to with know this, the meat so tender, I can just. Yeah, but. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's you know how to do it. Like I don't think uh, many people. That's the first time I was served that dish ever. So, Sometimes and we it. already know that you have uh, this collection of knives. You probably <laughs> like using them. Absolutely, absolutely. No, uh, a good knife makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and a bad knife will cut you, and it hurts. And a bad. Knife will cut you and it hurts. Absolutely. I just touched uh, food and it just went like in butter, although that was meat. So then the, I was keeping it really safe from everyone because I, I, I could just only imagine uh -huh, in so wrong hands what it happened. All right, Absolutely. done. You are very fast. All right. it's mostly done. These things are fairly easy. Like it just melts off the bone. Um, would you like me to serve you some? No yes, uh, well, I would love to. Mm -hmm. Might I have your plate? Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, mm. I, I want to ask you about the food. Like, uh, do you uh, do you prepare some? Uh, like, normally, do you eat some European? Oh, thank you. Bus, 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 bus. Yes, bus. bus it's not me. This is Pakistan. <laughs> you have to eat a lot. People I know, love eating. I know. It's I a want natural pastime to be eating. Mm. But, yes. Okay. If you call call time, I shall also. Call yeah, time. and uh, is there a spoon for the. Spoon, I think, is a pizza. What do you want? Oh, oh, exactly. No, this is not a spoon. Yeah. Okay. All right, vegetables. So, uh, what about the European food? Because I'm uh, Scottish food. We know that your husband already prepared it. Yeah. Um, sadly for Hassan, I don't. I don't do much cooking at all. <laughs> Why sadly? Uh, he doesn't get a break from it. Um, no, he I, enjoys I, it. Yeah, he enjoys cooking. Me, not so much. As he said earlier, I enjoy eating it more. So even yes. like European style foods. Hassan will cook it. It's great. But he, he, whatever you ask, like please make me pizza, lasagna. Uh -huh. Absolutely, absolutely. In Thank fact, so it's, it's very simple. You just look at the recipe online, and you don't look at one recipe. You look at a bunch of recipes, and then find that middle ground, which mm. is that this is common because everyone has their mm. their own obviously family own recipes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it. you have also some uh, recipes that you are <laughs> passing to <laughs> your son. Are there some recipes that you taught him? Actually, how? Actually, how are you very no. The other way around. She calls me up for my fish <laughs> recipe. Wow, wow, I make wow. a fish in lemon butter sauce. I get a call from it. But Can you see this? Here's what people forget. You forget. My mother even took it back to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just. It's not just the food or the ingredient or the quality of the ingredient. It's the technique. Mm. How you're cooking it. Uh, and I think that makes all the difference. It's not just the ingredient, but the technique that comes with it. Uh, so guys. There is like a lot of food to enjoy and we would like to do it 
So uh, that's why we are going to finish this episode right now. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you for joining you us. Right. So guys, uh, you have been watching another episode of Discover Ramadan with Agatha. Thank you for being with us and let's see you next time. Alafis. <laughs>